Dozens of dogs are safe in the U.S. tonight after being rescued from a meat farm more than 6,000 miles away. These are several pictures of those dogs as they were being rescued. 10 News reporter Coulter Anstat gives us a look at the horrible conditions they were living in and tells us how some of them ended up here in our area. Cage after cage filled with barking dogs sitting in their own feces, all destined to be somebody's meal. They need a lot of rehabilitation. The South Korean meat farm the dogs were taken from is the latest one to be shut down by the Humane Society of the U.S. and Humane Society International. <coughs> Angels of Assisi in Roanoke received 10 of the roughly 100 dogs. They need to learn how to be with people and that people are safe and not going to hurt them and some socialization. As a Humane Society rescue partner, this is the third time Angels of Assisi has received dogs from a South Korean meat farm, and it may not be the last. There's probably quite a few more left, and I imagine as they're in that country and going through and doing their homework, they'll find more and more. When they go in to shut them down, they're making sure that they're shut completely down, where those farmers need an and the different source of income now, so they help them get that done, and then they take all of the cages and destroy them. A positive outcome for everyone involved. In Rona, Coulter and Stat 10 News, working for you. The dogs will eventually be available for adoption, but right now it's not clear when that will happen.